guys. So you guys really enjoyed my first Pretty Ugly Polishes video and you requested more. So I'm back and I'm actually going to switch it up a little bit in this video. And I'm going to talk about one specific brand and a specific line within that brand. So the brand in the line that I'm going to be talking about is the China Glaze uh, Everglaze line. This is supposed to be a longer wearing polish. I can't speak for that because quite frankly the formulas in this are really frustrating. I have four here. These are the only four that I've tried. So keep that in mind, okay? Uh, this first one is Lil Boutique. This is one of those pale white pinks that I just can't get over. Uh, this is awful. This was incredibly watery. It was... I did three coats, but it honestly probably needed four maybe five and that is just not acceptable to me i expect chalky i expect thin but this was just really 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 hard to work with and i would you know opi's let's be friends is my favorite of the pale white pinks uh so i'm just gonna stick with that one this one was just a waste of money next up is mum's the word this is a coral pink this is not typically a shade i would go to only because it is warmer toned but I was really looking forward to this. I wanted to switch things up and unfortunately this one was thin as well. This was a three coater and it was just really, really frustrating. I can go to another brand and I could find a color that's very, very similar to this and it'll be a one to two coater. Two coats is totally acceptable to me, totally acceptable. But when I have a color like this where it's mid-tone, uh-uh, I, I just, that's just not okay. The next one is Case of the Mondays. This is one of those vibrant cobalt blues. I really, really like this color and I thought I would try one from this brand. Um, this is awful. I, I don't even know what to say. This one was, it was a two-coater, but I felt like I was getting used to the formulas that this line has and I was having to float the polish. Basically, I just, I had to just ever so gently guide the polish in the directions that I wanted to go. That I don't think is, I don't think this polish is worth the money. If you have Sinful Colors Endless Blue, they're not dead on dupes, but it gives you the same effect and it's a one to two coater. This this one is $10, are you kidding me? You want me to pay $10 for this? Uh-uh, I don't think so. And the last one is NY Slate of Mine. This is a gray and it has scattered micro holographic glitter in there. And the glitter did show up. It, I would say it spread it out pretty evenly. But this one was watery as well. I, I really don't understand. This is, a, this is also an, a color that I expect to be a one to two coater, not a three coater. This was patchy, it was runny, it was wanting to run into my cuticles. I, 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 I can't. I cannot recommend this to anyone. Like I said, I've only tried those four from that line, but I gotta say it's put me off from buying any others from it. So if you have one from this uh, this Everglaze collection, please let me know if you love it. I don't wanna hate this line, but I gotta say, I just, at this point, I think it's a waste of money. If you like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!